Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here. It's Thursday of this week. It's not Thursday of last week. No, it's thir or, nor Thursday it's, next week. It's Thursday of this week. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but um, I'm playing with my needed eraser too. Uh, we are back to drawing. We're back to, I'm still at my desk here. Still drawing. I've been drawing like crazy. If you've been following me on Facebook, you've probably seen that I've done a ton of drawings. Well, I shouldn't say a ton. I'm getting about five or six done a day, which I thought I was going to be able to. I thought I was going to be able to do ten. I'm not even coming close to that. So I'm happy with five or six. And uh, and I also I thought I only had two weeks before uh, Lightbox, and we actually have three weeks. So uh, we're going to hit our our goal of 100 drawings. I'm pretty sure. And uh, how you doing there, Dustin? I'm pretty good. How you doing there, Dustin? I'm doing pretty good. So remember last week, or, or last Tuesday, I told you we have a, uh, a really big announcement. Uh, and I'm going to get to that in just a second. But um, the one thing I want to uh, remind you is we have a back-to-school sale going on. Uh, so uh, everything on the site is 25% off. And we can get, let me think here. Oh, yeah. We got 50% off of memberships and streaming for students and uh, teachers. So if you're a teacher or a student, you can get 50% off of our membership and our streaming, which is a really great value because the full cost of the streaming is already pretty cheap considering you get everything on the site. When you get a membership, you get access to everything. That's all the brushes, all the lessons. You can download them. You can keep them. It's a pretty good deal. But our big, uh, our big announcement that I want to let you guys know is... Um, you know, back when we did our master class here in Orlando a couple weeks ago, while we were uh, selling the tickets and, and getting ready for it, we had a lot of inquiry, in, inquiries, inqu in, in, inquiries, inquiries <laughs> from people that um, couldn't get here. You know, they might, you know, maybe they're out of the country or whatever the case was. And so a lot of people asked if we would stream it and uh, and they would, you know, they could get a ticket that way. Well, we didn't because we didn't have the ability to do that. But we are now, uh, I'm going to announce now, <laughs> uh, we're doing a live uh, back to school. What am I doing? I'm reading the wrong thing here. <laughs> I'm, I'm blowing this. Okay? We're doing a live, live character design workshop uh, online on September 28th. It's going to be a six-hour class. So you're going to get me for six hours. Um, we're going to be answering questions. Uh, I'm going to be designing. I'm going to take you through all of my principles of character design. And then I'm also going to design right on the spot. We're going to do it together. And uh, so if you're in India or if you're in England or if you're in Australia, whatever the case may be, you are going to be able to get online with us and uh, do it that way. And so if you go over to... Oh, the other thing too is if you are a member... Uh, if you're a streaming member or an annual member, you can get 10% off the ticket price for that. So uh, all of our members will automatically uh, get a 10% discount. So check it out. Go over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and, uh, and see it. And we're going to be doing these on a fairly regular basis on different disciplines. We'll do digital painting. We will do character design like I'm doing now. We might do something on... Uh, uh, animation, whatever, um, and so we just this is going to be our first one, and um, and it's it's open to a limited number of people, so um, there's a cap on it because I want to make sure that all the people have the ability to ask questions and and uh, and we can interact with one another. So go to creatureartteacher.com and go check it out. It's on sale right now. And like I said, it's open to a limited number. I think we're going to go up to around two, 300 people. I'm not sure yet how many. Um, but like I said, I want to make sure that everyone has the ability to ask questions. And uh, so, um, and then get their questions answered. So that is happening. Oh, and then today is the last day to get our perspective drawing course. We don't have that slide. That's okay. We'll just leave the slide up. Today's the last day to get our perspective drawing course for 40% off. The course, the full course, uh, comes out tomorrow. So if you've already paid for the pre-order for the perspective course, you're going to get it tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but once again, I want to announce our live online workshop. We're going to be doing a live online workshop September 28th, and it's going to be uh, character design. I'm going to take you through my entire process. Now, if you you know if you know or don't know. You know, I've, I've designed characters for The Lion King. I've designed characters for Aladdin. I designed characters for Mulan. 
Uh, I've been doing character design for a long time, and I've got a lot of stuff to say about it. <laughs> so it would be really uh, a lot of fun to have you guys there, and uh, and you know help us fill out our first class. This will be, you know, depending on how this goes, like I said, this will be uh, something that we do on a fairly regular basis because I want to, I've been really wanting to interact with you guys a lot more and we've been trying to figure out how to do it. So this is one way to do it. So anyway, uh, September 28th, online character design class. Go to creatureartteacher.com and you can get tickets for that. All right. Uh, now we're back to drawing. Well, actually, I've got Dustin with me as always. Hi, everybody. And he's going to be answering questions. And uh, uh, we got Nick in Sarasota, who is going to be fielding questions as well. And I'm just going to draw today. And uh, I've already got a little sketch right here. You want to mention uh, Patreon or Lightbox at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to get to drawing here pretty quick. But definitely uh, Patreon. And I'm going to talk about Lightbox as I'm drawing. But uh, just another reminder, I've got a, a new Patreon uh, page and um, you know those little donations really help us out uh, from a financial standpoint to get us uh, enables us to freeze us up to create more content and uh, and that sort of thing. Um, so if you want to give us a little bit of support, go on over to Patreon and um, and it's really cool because you can get images for the low one dollar a month. You can get full Photoshop files that shows you all the layers for five bucks a month and then we're also going to be doing exclusive live streams for patreon members once a month and those are so small that i think we can do portfolio reviews uh, at least initially so um it might be worth your time to go on over and check that out so patreon.com uh, slash aaron blaze art and that's where you can find all that so let's go on over to here all right on here so here's a new drawing I'm doing. I just sketched it out right before, uh, um, right before our uh, stream. I'll show you some of the ones we've been doing. These have been fun. Here's a, it's just an Impala with an attitude. I did that this morning. Some of these are just kind of, you know, they're not. There's a, there's a, a Cape Buffalo with a serious attitude. <laughs> these are all the drawings I've done over the last three days. Uh, this guy's just looking fabulous. <laughs> yeah, the, these are a lot of fun. I love doing these. Um, this giraffe was, uh, it took a while, but man, it was a lot of fun to draw. I love those patterns. The, it, it's fun to do the patterns and get the form of the body. Yeah. You know, let that show through. And, uh, and it was just a fun little, cute little idea. And then uh, here's a tiger with attitude. And there's a dancing cape buffalo. <laughs> I don't know. Now this is one that I did uh, on Tuesday. Just a quick review. Remember we did this guy on Tuesday. And I did this on Tuesday early in the morning. And then we finished with this one. But you can see we've got a lot of drawings. This is one I did later in the evening. That was cute. There's a little leaf guy. Went back to one of my fantasy creatures. Nice. And a tiger. Tigre. 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 Skating elephants, in the in the style of Heinrich Clay. Heinrich Clay, by the way, that's the artist I was talking about. Some people were wondering. Um, Heinrich Clay is the artist that I was really influenced on. On these, H uh, E I N R I C H K L E Y. Heinrich Clay, turn of the century uh, uh, pen artist, did really beautiful stuff, and a lot of his uh, stuff were animals. This is the guy that's going, I, I don't know. This guy here, I. <laughs> and then the hippo. So we're well on our way to getting, you know, we've got, uh, I think there's 17 drawings there. So that means I've got 83 left to do. Between now and Lightbox. I'm going to be doing, doing these for Lightbox. So if you are interested in uh, one of these drawings, getting one of these drawings, then come to Lightbox in Pasadena, California. On uh, are you done the shooter on the down shooter? Uh, oh, you got the yeah. Seven. Come to Lightbox uh, in Pasadena, California, uh, on September sixth, seventh, and eighth, and uh, come to our booth and uh, you'll be able to get one of these drawings. They will be available. Now we're in the down shooter. Down shooter. Down shooter. We're in the down shooter. 
So uh, I am up and running. We are. And he is off to the races. Yes. 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 Uh, September 28th is on a. S is that a Saturday? I believe it's a Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Check the calendar. And uh, I think we're going to start at 11 yes. a.m. Eastern time. My t my time. So that you know, for folks in Europe. Um, it won't be too late, and the folks in you know California, uh, in Canada, or, or, or Western United States and Canada, it won't be too early. Now, for those in Asia, I know that's a tough time. Uh, we're going to be doing um, some of these courses uh, to cater different time zones as well. So I'll do I'll do one in the future where I'm actually going to go all night, and uh, I can cater uh, more easily to folks in Asia. So, so, uh, have you ever been at the Pixel Pixelado Congress in Mexico? Pixel Pixelit. What does it say? P i x e l a t l. No, I have not. Pixelado. <laughs> I have not. I think that was one we got uh, invited to, but I wasn't able to go. If that's what I'm, if it's a, if it's a uh, convention that you or a conference, if that's what you're talking about. So my the pens I'm using this is just a regular gel pen, uh, and it's waterproof, so I can do marker or, or watercolor over the top of it. It's called Tool, T U L, and I'm drawing on gray Strathmore paper. had a lovely lunch with <clears throat> Vedanta and Ronnie Williford. We all got together and went down to our local Vietnamese restaurant and had pho. In case you guys are wondering. <laughs> I would love to see Dustin drawn as a sloth bear. <laughs> he already is a sloth bear. Yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> 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 uh, can you please uh, mention the equipment you're using uh, for your pen and ink? I just did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Didn't, didn't you hear me say it? I just, I just did. I said I'm using a, a, a gel t tool, pen, and Strathmore gray paper. Are there any other uh, pens you're using? Any other gels or anything? Yes, but I haven't got to them yet. I'm going to be using white which is a white jelly roll 08 size there we go get that little my little fishing elephant you know I, I originally drew this with him you know holding a, a fishing rod fishing pole I thought, wait a minute, that's just boring. Why not have him actually fishing with his trunk? Something that only an elephant could do. Make it a little more original. Original. Oh, I got nothing from Nick. Dustin, you know that stand-up comic by... Eddie, is there about those animals like a dog owned by a giraffe? I would love to see Aaron draw either that or those uh, fishes with lights like headlights from a car that as they come at you, uh, the lights split. Huh? Basically, I think uh, like fit like uh -huh. a headlight fish coming coming towards the uh, the camera. Ah. Uh. But a giraffe walking a dog. That would be interesting. <laughs> it would be. So 
this guy here, just going to have him fishing away. Nick says the direct URL to the event to the live event is creatureartteacher.com slash live. So if you guys are interested in our upcoming live character design web event on September 28th, go to creatureartteacher.com slash live. Uh, where can I get that paper? Normally, uh, uh use just white um, I order mine online I just go to Amazon and put in uh, Strathmore toned gray for your search um, and I I order it in bulk I get about 10 10 uh, of these pads I get 10 of these at a time right here it's Strathmore toned gray and uh, there's 50 sheets and I think I've gone through about 50 pads. How do you do the alternate view box in the corner of your live videos? Um, it's through the OBS software that we're currently using for the live streams. And um, in the scenes that you're building up for your live streams, you can add extra layers of, adi of uh, additional stuff, whether if it's different camera <laughs> angles or what. It's just... When you go, uh, 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 funny. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can layer, layer things over one another, kind of like Photoshop with the, uh, um, bleh, <laughs> uh, with the drawing layers. There you go. So. You all right? I'm, I'm okay. You all right there, bud? I'm trying my best. Hey, bud. You all right, bud? I'm, I'm good, bud. Oh, I can't complain there, bud. Does a uh, beak uh, pen work? Bic? Bic. B I C? Bic. Beak. Uh, yeah. Bic pens work really well, actually. You say. Bic. I just, uh, um, I like these because it, it mimics the old style of, you know, the old Croquil style. The steel tip Croquil pens. And uh, that's, what, that's what Heinrich Clay used. And so I, want, I was really trying to mimic his style. Tim Hodge is on. Tim <laughs> Hodge. It says, I want you to draw an elephant with a puppet on his trunk entertaining um, entertaining it himself. And if you don't draw it, then I will. Actually, that's a great idea. I'm going to do that one next. And I'm going to have him entertaining two little lion cubs. See, that's why Tim's the idea man. Tim's the story guy. Yeah. You know? And Abby Lee's on, too. Hey, I finally have a question, oh, right but on. it isn't related to what he's currently working on. But um, do you currently have any tutorials in your courses for three-quarter view quadruped uh, walk cycles? I personally have a lot of difficulty with animating animals walking towards the camera, and I find I have to do way way too often for my skill level um no i don't have anything that specific i do cover walk cycles and for quite but i don't know that i do any three-quarter views but um you really just take the same information that you know and profile and you just apply it to that three-quarter now i understand if you're having a character if the camera's locked and the character's coming towards you and it's growing one of the things that i would do is i would kind of gridded out as far as the pacing. I would figure out with one, when I, I'd get one uh, cycle animated and then um, and then look at the distance that it covered in that, in that and then kind of figure it out before animating the rest. And then you just got to kind of stick to it after that. Do you have any advice for drawing more realistic wolves? 
I always draw mine more in an anime-like style or cartoony anthro style. I've uh, been wanting to get better at realism while keeping expressions. Well, um, there's plenty of reference out there. If you just look at the reference, I've got a course on drawing wolves, coyotes, and foxes on my site, on creatureartteacher.com, and I've, in there, there's a lot of uh, we put a lot of reference in there as part of the course. I went to Montana and photographed a lot of uh, wolves up there. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely learn. You'll learn the anatomy and everything else, you know, from that course. Oh, there's our little elefante. 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 Oh, I haven't looked up yet to see what Nick has. YouTube question. Do you ever concern yourself with the archivalness of materials, or do you just use materials without thinking about that? No, I do concern myself with it, especially if I'm selling it. Um, like, uh, I just sold a whole bunch of drawings, um, animal drawings, uh, that were done on newsprint. Now, newsprint uh, is highly acidic, and it won't last forever. And so I make sure that if I'm selling something like that, I'm, I'm pricing it accordingly. You know, you'll, you'll get something like that for a very good price. Um, but stuff like this, like uh, you know, these, these drawings here on Strathmore paper, this is all acid-free and it'll last forever. Uh, Twitch question. What's your opinion on cross-hatching? Is it something you do a lot? Well, you'll see that I do it in here somewhat. I like cross-hatching okay. But I, I'd rather, and you can do it with cross-hatching cross -hatching too, which is follow the form of the body. That's what I like to do. But, you know, even in here, let me zoom in. You can see in the lower, well, come on, focus. 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 Maybe I went too, too far. Too far. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. So you can see in here that I've done some cross-hatching in there. It's not perfectly straight across perpendicular cross hatching but it's cross hatching and uh, you know that's how I get my darks when I'm drawing uh, in pen if you could draw a Tasmanian tiger trying to eat a large stack of cheeseburgers sometime <laughs> <laughs> boy that's not very specific <laughs> YouTube question <laughs> are your tool pens fine point uh, point five or medium point point seven I have both this one is fine and this one is medium. Good call. Good call. I find that I'm using the fine point more for this size, for these size drawings. Do you like the chaffinch bird? Che chaffinch? Chaffinch? You okay? I I, I, <laughs> I'm terrible with pronouncing words. <laughs> Let me see. C H A F L Chaffinch? Oh, no, no, you said it right. Chaffinch. Chaffinch? I don't know what a chaffinch bird is. I will look it up. Chaffinch. Chaffinch. Just the way it's how, how big is it? Oh, it's about chaffinch. Chaffinch? <laughs> oh, this is a chaffinch. You see? Uh. Oh, I see it. You see it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I like all oh, birds. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Yeah, that's a cute little bird there, bud. There's just such a weird, weird name. It's like chaff, 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 uh, Mark Davies on YouTube asks, have you used watercolor on that paper? Would it hold or buckle? No, it buckles. I, don't, I haven't used watercolor. Um, watercolor on gray paper, it's, you know, if you want to just tone something, that works okay. But be prepared that it will buckle. Do you prefer to copy photos or do you, or do your own poses and expressions? I prefer to do my own poses and expressions. I do use photo reference sometimes. Actually, I use photo reference a lot, but I tend not to copy my photos verbatim. I always put a little bit of a twist or 
um, often the pose isn't right in the photo, but I'm looking at the photo for anatomical reference, things like that. For us mobile users, is it possible to leave it zoomed in a bit more? Uh, sure. Whoa, easy, cowboy. Easy there, bud. Yeah, just uh, let me know, Dustin, if I'm not drawing in the in the frame. All right. You're not drawing in the frames. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it focused? wrong. It is focused, right? Yeah. yeah, you're focused. You're good. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> My favorite, one of my favorite scenes of Surf's Up. It's like, absolutely my favorite, one of my favorite all time animated scenes. Yeah? Yeah. Just with the grain. <laughs> with the grain. I swear, he is like the definition of your wit when it comes to showing something. Oh, yeah. Because there, there, there's been so many times where I'll be trying to draw something. And be like, oh, the, this is how you do it. You do it like this, and <laughs> you add this little detail here, and let's yeah. let's add this little detail right here. <laughs> can, can I do it now? <laughs> and this, this here, with with the with, with, with the, the green, <laughs> with the green. Do you have a uh, fish or shark tutorial? No, but we will. That'd be really cool, actually. Yeah. You still use just the uh, Bemoji pens? I do occasionally. Yeah, I just, for this, I wanted something a little finer. The Bemoji pens are great, um, but I they the drawings, I... Uh, for the kind of drawing that I'm doing here, it's for me, it's hard to uh, get the emoji pens to work the way I want to get them to work. Sorry, I'm hitting my. <laughs> you're you're in trance mode. I, you're with the grain. The reflections. <laughs> with the grain. Where have you been getting your inspiration for all these pen sketches? They are all so cool. The one with the lion that has an afro is the best. I was just looking at lion photos and uh, from my trip to Africa back in 2007, and it just struck me that I thought it would be funny to have an afro on a lion. So that's why I did it. That's why you did it? Yeah. Do you have any pets? If so, do you ever draw them? Yeah, I've got uh, I've got two dogs, and I did a live stream where I uh, I did our, our little toy poodle a couple weeks ago, and uh, the toy poodle his name is Max, and I've also got Achilles, who used to be my son-in-law's dog, and my daughter, but. They moved into an apartment that doesn't allow pets, and so I got to get Achilles. And so he's mine now. Well, he's not mine. I, I never say any pet is mine. Mm. But he is mine. <laughs> there it says, be a catfish. A catfish? A cat. That's a fish. And when I and when I read that, I instantly started thinking, like, a mermaid-looking looking creature, but uh -huh. instead of half human, half fish, it's just... Half a body of a cat with like, with like the head, the paws, but then with the fish tail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, YouTube question: When the Lion King, when the Lion King, first came out on video, were you disappointed to see everyone watching it in blurry VHS quality at the wrong aspect ratio? Uh, you know, I never back then we didn't even think about it. Going pretty close to the corner there, bud. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, oh my, oh my, Gandhi on YouTube asks, are you using a fine or medium tip white jelly roll? Also, Bob Ross as a bear would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, on the jelly roll, I'm using a uh, 0 0.08, and then I go up to a 1. 0 0.08.
Can you recommend a good place to go and draw draw people and any tips on not looking creepy while doing so? <laughs> uh, you can go anywhere and draw people. I mean, you just, I don't know, the mall. Um, um, does anybody go to the mall anymore? Do people go to malls? That's a good question. We, do, we definitely don't. I know malls are really big in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Philippines? Yeah, they're very popular because it's you can get out of the heat. Yeah. Why a round dock? Why what? Why is it? Why is the dock round? The dock? The, the dock's dock. not round. <laughs> it's bent. Oh, it's bent because of the weight of the elephant. Yeah, I think the person mis mistook the uh, bend for it to being round. Well, I guess I failed. What equipment do you use to film your live videos and how um, you get the alternate view in the corner? <laughs> well, the alternate view, as I mentioned before, is through a software called OBS. Um, OBS. You just, OBS. And uh, you layer all the different scenes together. There's plenty of YouTube videos on that. Uh, but the equipment we're using, we're using two separate camcorder cameras um, that are... They're Sony. They're Sony. And, 4K. Uh, 4K. Oh, no, uh, it's, uh, yeah, which, which one is it? It's the Sony... Shoot, I can't I, remember. I can't remember. Yeah. I think you might need to look at the bottom of Sony, it. Sony hand cam. Uh, Xmore. Yeah, or at least that's what it says on the it's top. It's a 4K camera. It shoot, yeah, well, it has the ability to shoot 4K. has the ability to shoot 4K. Um, and uh, we... So we have those, and we have them linked directly to the computer via um, HDMI to USB ports um, using CamLink uh, devices, and which turns the HDMI into a USB. And uh, so that's how we've been able to do all the live live streams with multiple cameras. Nick uh, Nick says uh, we get we actually get the three quarter walk question. Remember the person was asking about the three quarter yeah. walk. We get that question quite a bit. So maybe maybe we should do a demo on that at some point. That's a good idea. That could be useful. Maybe may do a future live stream on that. Yeah. What about a switch like hippos on land with mane and all and lines in the water like hippos? <laughs> That's interesting. Interesting. I, I like where you're going with that. <laughs> Will you draw any rhinos? Ooh, a rhino would be fun. Doing what? Doing what? They'd probably make a a annoyed looking rhino with uh, with corks uh, on the tips of the horns. Yeah. That's a good idea. Are you gonna um, add reflections of the elephant in the water? Probably not. I'm not going to do a whole lot of... I just want to get the reflections. Glad you said that. I'm just going to get a little bit of reflection here of the dock. Just enough to indicate water. Don't want to get over detailed. Yeah. Try to make it loosey-goosey. Keep it loose. loose Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Yeah, because actually the, the reflection of the elephant would be off the paper. <laughs> Mariana Garcia says, Aaron, can you give me motivation to go to the gym? <laughs> oh, you need to give me motivation <laughs> to go to the gym. Same here. I, I just need to go outdoors and just do something. <laughs> Turning into a hermit. That was a better revised version of my idea. Uh, rhino with cork on his horn trying to hold a bottle of wine. 
with his paws like this, with like it's hooves like this. <laughs> oh yeah. looking for, you know, getting the values to work, the light and shadow, even with pen, to make sure things pop against each other, like these legs, you know, making sure this area here reads clearly. So, someone else is suggesting a uh, silverbacks getting a perm. <laughs> <laughs> or a rhino roller uh, skate rolling with a helmet, roller skating with a helmet. What about adding a mouse on his head fishing as well? Um, that's a little that's a little detail for this, for what I'm trying to do. A little too detailed. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one kind of simple. But I like I like where you're going with that. I like where you're going. <laughs> so I'm suggesting uh, a llama screaming boom baby. <laughs> Emperor's new groove, nice, I like that reference. Or a camel going hump day! Hump day! Although it's not hump day. That was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Aaron, I want to become an animator at Disney, uh, but my parents want me to become an architect. Uh, what should I do to convince them? Plus, is it, uh, is it compulsory to join art school to go to Disney? And may I know what qualifications and requirements uh, Disney require? You know, you got to know how to animate. You don't, you don't have to go to college uh, for Disney, but it would help if you need to learn. You know, if, if, you, if that's what you want to learn is animation. As far as your parents go, don't know to tell you. Don't know what to tell you, bud. <laughs> You're uh, on your own, there, bud. You know what? I had parents that were really supportive of my want to be in art, and um, and it really, for you parents out there that are listening, you know, you can make a living as an artist. Trust me. I've made a, a good living as an artist. I've been doing it for 35 years. For 35 years, I've made my entire career as an artist. So, it's possible, bud. Tell them. Oh, it's possible, bud. Do you know of any good cell animation apps for the iPad for beginners? Hold on, sorry. I had to give that one that one line. <laughs> that one... I don't, actually. Uh, not apps. Is the elephant using peanuts for bait? Uh, you know what? Let's say yes. <laughs> Somebody else is suggesting a crocodile crying. Oh, uh, crocodile tears. Is this hand drawing on a on table? I like it. Yeah, a little bit of drips in the water. There we go. So now what I want to do is I'm going to jump over to my white jelly roll. Twitch comment. Oh, I would love to see you draw some turtles. Ooh, that sounds fun. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Just want to get a last little bit of a lemur doing yoga in the morning sun. Hmm. Awfully specific. Very. <laughs> well, I mean, an elephant fishing. In the morning sun. In the morning sun. Ba, 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 da. Ba, ba, da. Oh, I gotta get on the. This is the big. This is the uh, one. 1.0. Do you guys think that 50 years later that people are still going to think that Elvis is still alive? <laughs> <laughs> Doubtful. 
highly unlikely. We've got to win the race. Lemonade. That cool, refreshing drink. Oh. get this question quite often but uh, have you ever experienced a block kind of like a writer's block but like an artist block of course I don't know. yeah uh, if so how how did you overcome it I just I just push through I just you know I, I draw even if I'm even if I'm blocked and I don't mean cont uh, hold on I gotta get this I want to zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the detail yeah, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Um, even if I'm, you know, if I if I am blocked for whatever reason, mentally, um, I force myself to draw, even if it's just like doodling, and eventually I break through. Man, it sounds like I'm talking about being blocked up, like <laughs> contaminated, <laughs> contaminated, constipated. Nice. <laughs> With drawings like these, how do you keep yourself from taking the picture too far and into too much detail? Um, just experience. That just comes with experience. You can see how little white I'm using. I'm not using much white at all. The white should really just be used as an accent. Aaron, did you sing with Elvis? <laughs> no, right before I met Walt Disney. No, I, I think I'm mistaking is that I, I was the one that was singing with Elvis. You were uh, playing uh, backup guitar uh, with the band. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to meet you first before you burst. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever drawn fire bellied newts? They're such cute, odd little critters. No, oh. I've never drawn a fire bellied newt. <laughs> Once again, me very specific. <laughs> she turned me into a newt. <laughs> Did you already mention where you can get these pens? Well, well. The pens, I order them online as well. Off of Amazon. You can buy everything off of Amazon. So now, don't you? There's there's our elephant, drawn with uh, with the highlights, added. I'm gonna add some to the ear. And I made the mistake of kind of starting on the left side of the drawing, and working across because I'm, I'm left-handed. I got to be careful not to put my finger or my hand in it. I've had trouble uh, finding gray paper. To the uh, do the gel pens work over charcoal rubbed paper? No. They will not. They'll clog up. So don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. Not gonna do it. Just order the order the gray paper online if you have the ability. If you have a, if you can. Uh, they deliver. Oh, I'm speaking of deliveries. I'm getting a brand new easel tomorrow delivered. Ooh. Yes, it's a uh, it's a new prototype. I'm going to be demonstrating it. A prototype. Yes. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. So on the next live stream next week, uh, we'll be demoing that. Alrighty. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Ah. So just you slowly coming along here. Have you ever seen Indian rhinoceroses before? They're my favorite along with other rhinos and elephants. Well, I actually tracked them in the wild in, in Nepal. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> So, uh, is this light source coming from above? <laughs> yes. 
a beta. We'd rather draw with one specific media, such as oil, watercolor, etc., for the rest of your life, or draw any media you want, but only once a year. <laughs> uh, any media I want, only once a year. I don't know. That's a, that's a hard question to answer. Oh, I keep drawing going off the... I gotta go wide on this because I can't, I can't uh, keep track of whether I'm going off the page or not, or off the screen. Yeah. Inspired by a comment, either. huh? What? Inspired from a comment from uh, last time by someone who asked about uh, snow lion when they meant snow bear. Uh, you can do a lion building a snow lion. Yeah. And I was actually thinking uh, you can make a lion building a uh, mud lion, like next to a, um, like next to a lake in Africa or something, like uh -huh. a little pond. That's kind of a cool idea. I'll give that one to you. There are a little. So no suggestions getting some uh, color. Hmm? What? Huh? What? How about a buddy? Hmm? A snow leopard playing golf or a posh otter drinking tea with his end digit in the air. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> yes, it's a posh otter drinking some tea. Should have drawn this with white pen in the first place. It's possible drawing a blobfish winning a beauty pageant. Ugh. <laughs> you ever seen a blobfish? I have seen a blobfish. They're really nasty. They, they look alien. What's the next draw drawing going to be? An animal? <laughs> Probably. I can probably almost guarantee you it'll be an animal. Uh, will you do? Will you be doing a course on pen and ink? I've got a course on pen and ink. Do you now? I do. Go check it out. Creatureartteacher. dot com. It's not dot net. So just taking my time. There we go. YouTube comment. Uh, I want to say thanks to Aaron's video on the Cintiq 16. I got one a few months back and it's the best drawing tablet I've ever used. That makes me happy. See, I told you, they're awesome. If you're looking for a good entry-level Cintiq, get that 16. They are really great. If I enjoy drawing something new, does that count as going out of the comfort zone? Because that, that phrase is supposed to imply that drawing something new must feel uncomfortable. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you can... For me, getting out of your comfort zone is just getting out of the area that you do all the time. A lot of times it's trying a different style as well. Uh, Mark Davies says, holy hell, I went on Amazon to look at the cameras you used and accidentally pressed the buy with one click button, now no. speedily trying to cancel the order. Oh, Curse my fat fingers. Oh no. <laughs> well, it's a good buy if you get one. <laughs> it's definitely a good video camera. Yeah. Here we go. 
There. So there's our little elephant, Elefante. Elefante. Fishing. There it is. Our little elephant fishing. Forgot how to sign my name there for a second. There it is. There it is. That's the way you get. But that's the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. As Walter Cronkite used to say. So that's that's today's. This is today's effort so far. So I'm a little bit behind. You got some catching up to do. Yeah, I've got four more to do for the day. So there is one for uh, for the live stream. Let's do one more. Let's do another one, then we're going to call it. Uno mas, then calling it? Yep, uno mas, and then calling it. All right. What Twitch question. Hey, Aaron, could you tell us something about your upcoming courses? Well. 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 Well, we got the perspective course. Uh, I've got the perspective course. Just finished that one. And uh, the next course, I decided to put off the, um, the Birds of Prey course for a fantasy creature course. The Birds of Prey is still going to happen, but I'm going to be doing uh, a series on fantasy creatures, imaginary creatures, and uh, the first one uh, is going to be the Hidden Creatures of the Forest. Or the, the first volume, I should say, will be Creatures of the Forest. All fantasy creatures. Elves and sprites and fairies and all that kind of stuff. So, but done in my style. So, we got a blank piece of paper. Do we now? Yes. What did, what was the thing that Tim, what was the image Tim was talking about? Uh, elephant, uh, with Oh, doing a, the puppet With show. a puppet in his trunk, entertaining himself. I like that. I like that idea. I like where you're going with this. <laughs> Somebody quoted the Mr. Lebowski quote. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm I'm the, the dude. dude. And that is still your ringtone for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I got to bring it down here. How close are we to appropriate course? Oh, not not close at all. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we will get one. Eventually. Yeah. We get so many uh, requests on Procreate courses. So I will do one. I want that there. No. I want to be... I want to bring that trunk down. Bring it down. Like so. Then up. Thanks, to, thank you, Tim Hodge, for this idea. Totally stealing it. I am officially out of questions. So am I. I'm out of ammo, sir. So how do you, how are you thinking of uh, uh, com, um, blah, blah, never mind. <laughs> you okay? You right there, bud? How are you how are you planning on setting up the composition? There we go. Oh. <clears throat> My brains is not acting good today. Well, Wait. he's gonna be sitting on his butt. You know what I should have done is probably brought him up a little higher. No, I can do this. How was breakfast? <laughs> breakfast was great. Thank you for asking. And somebody asked this question already, but I wasn't here to hear it. So uh, sorry that 
Uh, he said it earlier, I just forgot. What's the paper called again? This is Strathmore Toned Gray. Strathmore Toned Gray Paper. And you buy yours online. And I buy mine on Amazon. Online. On the Amazon. What kind of paper do you favor the most? I like the Strathmore. This is probably what I use the most. Are these ink drawings going to be for a book? Uh, we will be putting them in a book, but they are. I'm doing them to put them up for sale at the uh, Lightbox event in Pasadena. Um, so if you guys go to the Lightbox event in Pasadena, you will be able to purchase these. That's the idea. How do you decide where to add skin texture on your elephants uh, on reptiles when you don't want to cover the entire animal in texture? Well, I, I usually in shadow areas. That's usually where I, I get it. Are your favorite traditional materials listed on your website somewhere? My favorite traditional materials? No. Um, I, I don't have favorite. I just, I do all kinds of traditional. If you're talking about my favorite brands, no, I don't have that listed. directed to Tim, but Tim should still draw his version of the elephant puppet. It would be nice to see each other's interpretations of the idea. Yeah. See, I'm running into a problem. I started with the elephant's head too low. But I think I can fix this. Actually, I want to bring it out here. I'm going to bring that ear out here. Bring this ear out here. Like that. I'm going to have him kind of like he's bent over. What's your guys' favorite cuisines? Mine is either Mexican or Italian. The cuisine. I would probably say... Italian. 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 Maybe. Italian. Maybe French. Um, I love uh, Japanese. Sushi. Yeah. I like the teriyakis. The teriyakis? The teriyakis. I love Thai as well. Let me get this guy out of here. You gotta see. This is, I'm very, very much not staging this right. But you can see the idea. He's gonna have a little cub there. I think I'm gonna start it over though. Just turn it over. I'm gonna <laughs> get him up here. I gotta, I gotta. See, I'm, I've gotten too used to the with my digital painting, digital work, being able to uh, move stuff around. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly indicate where I want these characters to be. I'm going to have little, three little lions, little lion cubs. I don't want them. They're going to be right there. Like that. Do you like Sword of the Stone? I love, I love to watch Ar Archimedes and his bad mood. It's so funny. I do. I haven't watched that movie in forever. Okay, tell so us there we go. That's all right. That's, that's okay. <laughs> it's where every time I'm about to talk. <laughs> is it safe? It is safe. Okay. Uh, would you tell us about your thoughts when you start a new drawing? Or like how 
is the process going in your mind? Is it organized or chaotic? Well, for me, it's about finding the composition. So here, especially for a, uh, for a tableau, you know, an image that's going to tell a story, like what we're doing here, I want to make sure that I get the elements in the right place. And, uh, and the composition reads clearly. What kind of music would you prefer in Disney movies? Uh, what kind of music would I prefer? I think sure. maybe like score or like musical oh. or I uh, think that's my that's that's my interpretation of the question. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of Disney music. <laughs> Uh, but I think this the uh, score. I love score movie film scores. There's that's better. And of course, there's the iconic ones like Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Star Trek. Yeah. Uh, Twitch question: Will you draw any dinos? Um, probably not anytime soon. I get. I don't know how to draw dinosaurs. I don't. I'm not educated on it, and I and I I need to do some research. There we go. Now I'm feeling better. I'm glad I took the time. I asked earlier, but not sure if I went through. Um, yeah, I don't think I saw this question at all, but. Uh, do you prefer drawing whimsical only, or uh, have you ever wanted to dive headfirst into something dark, evil, and villainous? No, I don't want to do dark, evil, and villainous. That's not my that's not my mojo, man. I think the last villainous thing, thing I've seen you do was the uh, zombie bear from last year's yeah. Halloween. It's just not my preferred subject matter. I like doing upbeat kind of stuff. Have you ever used gray brush pens on gray paper? Uh, yeah, I've got some gray uh, gray brush pen other in here, but yes. There we go. This is much better. Found the composition I like. What about another puppet on a on the tip of one of the tusks? Kind of slouched funny. That's a funny idea. I think everyone would like some Steve Ray music in some Disney films. Yeah, I'd love that. I'm gonna put it on put one on the other tusk too. I'm gonna go nuts, man. Your drawing live streams are my favorite favorite ones so far. Can you um can you make a live stream on animation basics principles? If yes, when? Thank you. Um. Uh. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that one out. But I do have a whole course on animation basics and principles on my website on creatureartteacher.com. Creatureartteacher.com. There's a whole course there. Whole course there? Whole it's a whole course here. Sucker flies really good. Mm. Ba ba black sheep. Ba ba ba. What do you think of Disney Plus coming out in November? Uh it's gonna it's gonna take a bite out of Netflix. I'll tell you that. 
Is Disney Plus their like their new um, streaming streaming? Platform. Uh, This eye in here, or eyes. <laughs> so you can make the um, puppets some of your original creations, like. One of the puppets could be this could be a snow bear. <laughs> there we go. It's all about the staging, folks. You want to make sure your staging is clear always. Always. Remember. Now we just got to get our little lines in there. Uh, you uh, YouTube question: Can you draw one of the cubs on her back giggling? I don't want to have them just completely enthralled. I'm going to have one actually tilt with its head tilted. Is it easy to get into art university with full scholarship or aid? Uh, did you get, did you go to one? Yeah, I went to the Ringling College of Art and Design. I did have scholarships. I couldn't have gone otherwise. I didn't have enough money to go to school. So it really helped me that I had scholarships and financial aid from the government. possible to shoot an overhead shot like this when Aaron is working on his Cintiq? When the drawing becomes more complex, uh, it is sometimes hard to see where he's working on the final layers. Uh, being able to see his hand and, uh, and stylus would make it easier to follow visually. Um, that We'll see if we can do that. I don't know if we can do that. It'd be hard to control that. Uh, Twitch question. What were some of your favorite childhood animated TV shows? Oh. Well. Uh, let me see. My favorite was always uh, the Warner Brothers cartoons. You know, uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, Roadrunner and Coyote. Those are absolutely my favorite. Daffy Duck, I, <laughs> I love Daffy Duck. And I used to watch the old Flesher cartoons too, back when, back when I was really young, like the old Superman from the 1930s, or it was up the 40s, Flesher cartoons, they are done in Miami. Those are awesome. Just getting these finished up here. Do you think it is easy for an artist to get into Disney if he's from an Asian country to be to be to be precise, Pakistan? Uh, keeping in mind, he's a very good artist. No, I mean, Disney's not easy. There's a lot of good artists out there, but they're not, doesn't mean they're, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of, um, there's nothing easy about getting into Disney, let me put it that way. No, it won't be easy at all. There's a lot of good artists out there. 
that don't make it. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of good artists that do. So, uh, but, you know, just from the phrasing of the question, I'm just saying that, you know, nothing is easy about getting into well, any of the main studios for that matter. You know, they're, they're very difficult to get into. I'm going to slide this over, this guy, just a little bit. Give him slightly smaller ears. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like this idea, Timmy. Timothy Hodge. <laughs> so I've, been, I've been getting kind of dry on my ideas here. This is a good, this is a gooder. Do you have any tips on learning how to draw uh, back views of characters? Yeah, you got to understand the anatomy. If you understand the anatomy, then you won't have any problems dra drawing the back views. So, like, like for instance, on these cats that I'm drawing, these lion cubs I already know. I know lion anatomy, so I'm able to draw them from behind. There we go. Boy, this is going to take a while. Take a while. Right. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying, bud? I, I, I know what you mean there, bud. Uh, where do you see hand-drawn 2D animation in 10 years? On a, on a comeback or abandoned completely for 3D computer animation? No, I see it on Netflix. And I see it on the Disney streaming network. And I see it on uh, Amazon Prime and Hulu. That's where I think all that it's going to... And I still think there's be some... I think, I think some will come back into the theater. But I, I, for me, I see it all in the streaming platforms. There. Okay, time to start drawing. Let me start. Uh, Are the puppet Scar and Mufasa with Simba? <laughs> there you go. Good idea. <laughs> Due to the three puppets being lions, all I can think of is the stampede scene from The Lion King. Those cubs are going to learn trauma like I did back in 94. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we all, we all, when we animated that, when, when we were making that movie, um, all of us are like, oh my God, we're going to destroy the kids. Mark Henn animated the scene where Simba's trying to, to wake up his father after he's been pummeled by the wildebeest. And I remember when he finished up that shot and he was shooting it for the first time, we all hung out around the the down shooter to see it and everyone was like oh my god <laughs> this is going to be bad did they use a multi-plane camera while making classic Disney movies like Aladdin uh, wasn't it difficult to use one and why aren't such movies made today and can we do online animation jobs on Netflix or any other studio like Disney? Um, by the time we Aladdin came along, we were doing uh, work. The digital age had come in, so our drawings would get scanned. And so, yes, we did multiplane shots, but they were within the computer. They weren't traditional multiplane. 
What does your brother actually do for a living? My brother? Your brother. He's a storyboard artist, and he's also a, uh, um, a teacher. And an animator. Although I don't think he's currently animating for a living. He's a really good animator. A YouTube question. Have you or have you or would you ever come to Switzerland? I've been to Switzerland three times. Um, yes, I like I love Switzerland. I've been to Geneva. Matter of fact, when we did the European uh, opening of Brother Bear, uh, we did all the press event in, in Geneva. Uh, for your next drawing, do a uh, hippo balancing on a beach ball playing a violin. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully specific, there, bud. Well, these are all suggestions. Everyone's very specific with their suggestions. <laughs> In fact, I've been to Switzerland more than any other European country, come to think of it. You know what? I was just saying I've been to Switzerland more than any other European country. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I thought it was England you did more of. Oh, you know what? Now it is. Yeah, it is. yeah. I forgot. I've been to England. I forgot over the last year. I've been there, what, three or four times? At least. But I've been to Switzerland three times. What's your favorite animation book? Uh, the Illusion of Life by Frank and Ollie. Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston. Johnston? Yeah. There we go. We all know England is not in Europe, right? Oh, oh yeah, UK is its own thing. No, it's in Europe. It's just not part of the Union. Or trying to get out of being part of the movie. Mm. It's considered part of Europe, yes. The continent of. If you could be reincarnated into an animal, what would you want to be? Uh, an eagle. An eagle? Yeah, I want to fly, man. Fly like an eagle. See. YouTube question If they made a live action Brother Bear Would you want to take part in the production? Yes I would I absolutely would Don't hold your breath, though, folks. I don't think that's ever going to happen. You never know. Oh, I know. You show a few tips on gesture drawing? Yeah. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad course. Um, gesture drawing. <laughs> Is that just your drawing? It's just your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> if this elephant passes gas, these cubs are in the fire. <laughs> You're right. Thank God they they don't have any candlelight or anything or around a campfire. <laughs>
going to have to give Tim a commission on this one if I sell it. If a company like Netflix approached you to be a leader or name behind a project, would you do it? Yeah, if it's if it's the right project. Um, would you want it to be earthly or out in the universe? Uh, the project, from a story yeah. standpoint, probably earthly. That's where I, that's where I, uh, I identify most. You like to keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Kim asks, "Do you think the Wacom digital screens are good for an aspiring artist?" to have for practice or just stick with traditional drawing. Just got my daughter one. No, I think that I think that's great. Yeah, you because know, that's especially if your daughter goes into you know the professional world, um, more than likely she'll be working digitally. So I think it's great. Good on you, parent. I'm just getting, trying to model the the trunk here a little bit. I mean, it's that Abby Lee says, just going to throw out an idea more on the simple side. A tiger and a snow leopard looking at each other very unimpressed. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something like that, like a leopard and a tiger. I was going to do a... a a zebra wearing a spotted dress, you know, stupid, mm -hmm. you know, just stupid thing like that. But it's, it'd be fun to draw. A cheetah running from a bank. <laughs> a cheetah playing cards and cheating. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alexis on YouTube says, my kitten is intent, intently watching you draw. Oh, meow. Meow. <laughs> I see you're using a tool pen. How does this compare to Micron pens for ink work or sketching? I, I like it. Um, I think it works... Uh, I like it a little better. To be honest with you, I like the ink flow on it. Yeah, and I've been, I mean, you could, you've seen the number of drawings I've done, and these, these are the same two pens I've been using on all these drawings. So they last. The tip really lasts. Aaron, you should do animation shorts, Disney style for Netflix. Bring it back home, mate. Oh, man. What a cool idea that would be. Well, once we get brother, uh, brother bear. Once we get snow bear done, no um, brother, no brother. Once we get snow bear done, uh, we're hoping that it'll it'll open a few doors for us. I will fly from Australia to Lightbox if you draw a snow leopard. I'll come buy it. <laughs> Deal. That's going to be an expensive drawing. <laughs> approximately, approximately how much will these be selling for? Uh, they're going to be at Lightbox, yes? Yes, they would be sold for $100 a piece. $100 a piece? $100 a piece. Cool, yeah. go. There's a little puppet. I'm your puppet. I'm your puppet. Hello, puppet. <laughs> Draw a cougar envy of a jaguar. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's actually a good idea. I like that one. Would you sign up for Disney streaming? 
Uh, probably. We've got we've got Lily and Heather that would probably like it. My uh, stepdaughters. Maybe says, I just want a bunch of cats. Unimpressed cats. Hugging cats. <laughs> oh, and a, as a drawing? As a drawing. <laughs> and please, can I have the name of the ink artist you mentioned? Heinrich Clay. Heinrich H E I N R I C H. And then last name Clay, K L E Y. That's new Captain Barbosa. Oh, God, I haven't done him in a while. Um, Captain Barbosa, who's that? He's the um, evil captain that turns good in um, uh, <clears throat> the Pirates of the Caribbean series. He's a welcome aboard the Black Pearl. Miss Turner. <laughs> that, that guy. Gotcha. That was pretty good. <laughs> so tell me, what has become of my ship? <laughs> that's, that's my Oh, best. Jeffrey oh, Rush. Sorry. Jeffrey Rush, yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting his name, though. Nick says, uh, it it's also has the new Star Wars live action and Marvel live action series. So, I think you will... I'll watch it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's the, He's referring to the Disney streaming. Yeah, it's going to have the Star Wars live action and Marvel live action series. Well, that's pretty darn cool. For a drawing idea, how about a sphinx cat uh, plotting evil doings? <laughs> <laughs> There. This is two. This two little puppet. I'm your puppet. How about drawing of a pile of cats? You know, meowton. A <laughs> meowton of cats. Oh. He was like, I'll show myself out. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> a meowton. <laughs> who's who's that? <laughs> I wonder if that's Caitlin someone. Ma Caitlin Mariah. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty bad, but pretty good. A mountain of cats. This is funny to say. Mountain. 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 All right, we're slowly, slowly getting there. Uh, for the 15th anniversary of Brother Bear, uh, Disney released some limited edition pins. Were you able to get any? Uh, no, I didn't get any. I wasn't around. I've got a whole box full of Brother Bear memorabilia. Uh, I think, you know what? I had it in here. I think we put it up in the attic. Oh no, here we go. Oh, this is Lion King. Let's do Jack Sparrow. Oh, no, singing. these are. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Nala's. Uh, yeah, no, that's something different. No, all my, all my, all my brother bear stuff is up in the attic. That's the dude Jack Sparrow singing. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> and guess what's inside it? <laughs> Is that something he sings? Yeah, it's in um, the second one with uh, um, when they're facing uh, Davy Jones. Oh. And he has the heart of Davy Jones in the jar of dirt. Oh. <laughs> He's, and so he taunts the uh, uh, Davy Jones, like, I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's dirt. <laughs> it's a jar of dirt. I feel like my voice is too deep for Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah. It's all that smoking you do. You mean all the vaping? I do. <laughs> no, it's just that I, I just have a 
big Adam's apple. <laughs> I got a big apple. <clears throat> there we go, mate. YouTube question, when making a movie, does every little opinion count? No. Absolutely not. Christopher Von Benson says, uh, Dustin, tell Aaron I'll email some pics of animals that may give ideas. All right. Now, every opinion is heard, but not every opinion counts. Because if it did, we'd have a mess of a movie. draw human figures like a dancing girl with uh, frog-like Cinderella's or any princess and what kind of research do you do uh, while making a new creature like you said dinosaur uh, well I do the I don't know what I don't know uh, thorough research when, when you say what kind of research yeah, I, just, kind, I, like do, how, I do like the what, research like what kind of research do you do while uh, while making a new creature like say uh, new dinosaur or a uh, yeah, I, I uh, a lot of times I won't do the. Uh, I'll just pull from knowledge that I already have from cr coming up with a creature. But I, I tend to I tend to think about the logic of the creature, how it may have evolved, the environment that it's in, that sort of thing. Why don't you draw human figures, like? Because I like animals cool. better. Animals are better, man. Yeah, I just, I like drawing animals better. Oh, that's how, you. That's how I've, I've always been. What's that? A frog kissing a Barbie doll hoping for a frog princess. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cute. That's a good idea. <laughs> I love that idea. Renard on YouTube asks, now it reminds me that you've worked on Beauty and the Beast, right? My lead animator did too. Maybe you know him. His name is pa Pascal Ropars. Don't know that person. I don't remember that person at all, actually. Uh, would you draw dinos with or without feathers? Uh, probably with, if that's the most accurate way to draw them. Tim Hodge giving me the ideas for Tim free. For free. <laughs> I kind of ran out of questions here. Uh, do you know what your booth number is going to be at Lightbox? Yes, my booth number is 203. 203. Yes. That is 203. Yes, go to Lightbox. It's going to be awesome. Especially if, if you're in the western part of the United States or in the Southern California area. I'm going to be at booth 203. 203. At 203.com. Wait, what?
Somebody says a feathered raptor would be incredible. A feathered raptor? A feathered raptor. Yeah. Slowly getting there. It is. It's exhausting doing getting five of these or six of these done a day. Oh, I bet. My brain gets so tired. It works your brain. Twitch question. My 26-year-old daughter is about to go to art school for the first time, but she's worried she's too old to start learning how to draw. Should she be worried? No. It just made me laugh. How old is she? She's 26. She's still a kid. Really? She thinks she's too old? Yeah. No, there's nothing to be worried about. She's not even remotely too old. The only time when you're too old to do anything is when you're laying in your coffin. Yeah. <laughs> I suggested that just popped in. A chameleon stuck to a paint palette. <laughs> so I'll suggest interesting, a, interesting. A rapping raptor. <laughs> Drawing creates a fertile ground for puns. It really it, does. They can be. They can really draw people's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you really enjoy the art of this class. So once again, I'm going to mention, um, while I'm drawing here, um, I'm doing all of these for Lightbox, which is going to be September 6th, 7th, and 8th out in Pasadena, California. Uh, it's going to be a really, really great expo. So I hope you guys can make it. And then also, uh, we are going to have our very first, this is what I'm really excited about, on September 28th, our very first online or live uh, web class, master class um, on character design. You all are invited. Let's go to creatureartteacher.com uh, slash live I think that's what it was. I believe so. And uh, you'll get more information there. And tickets. What if in your drawings you switch the roles of some of the animals, like having an elephant trying to crawl and stalk a very unimpressed lion? That's a cool idea. What kind of humor do you like best? What kind of humor? I yeah. Bathroom humor. Bathroom humor? Farts still make me laugh. I'm super, super lowbrow. We were just talking about that the other day. Madanta has reminded me how lowbrow my humor is. Lowbrow? <laughs> meaning like it's just stupid. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just laugh at everything. Yeah, you do. You've got a good sense of humor. Thank you. <laughs> it's just so sweet. There's our little guy. Do a little jumping spider with leaves like that airport guy using flags. My 
art director, aka my fiance, tells me that I should turn off the TV while I draw. Do you listen to music or do you have a movie going uh, for background studio noise? Um, I used to watch. Uh, I used to have the TV going when I would animate or, or I, if I would work, and I found that I did not get very much work done. So, I uh, but I do listen to music. <laughs> do you swear a lot when you're not recording? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I try to keep it clean for you guys. Try to keep it as clean as humanly possible. There we go. Are you using pen brushes as well? Which brand would you recommend? I am not using pen brushes, no. But... I buy these by the pack. Bemoji. These are Bemoji brush pens. They're very, very cool. There they are. I buy them Bemoji. There's the label right there. Bemoji. Synthetic brush pens. And I've got bags and bags of these. Whoa, I just got a shooting pain right up my back. Holy cow. You all right? Ow, yeah. That was shocking. Shocking. Oh, no more questions from Nick. I think we're losing viewers. Oh my gosh, we're losing viewers. Oh no! Is this a light source top down on the elephant? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, just figuring, I'm basically using a false lighting. I'm sh oh man, I'm shading him in a way that uh, gets parts to read, rather than being faithful to any kind of light source. We call that stage lighting. It's not necessarily any specific light source. How about a hippo giving baby animals swimming lessons? I'd love to see how you conquer water with pen. Oh, that's a cool idea. That could be really cute. I can visualize the elephant using his ears as curtains for the show. <laughs> see, I love that. I love when we get a whole bunch of minds in here. Minus, Remember to not breathe. Minus. <laughs> oh, don't forget to save your work. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing one yesterday, though, and I, for an instant, almost, uh, uh, I, I tried to find my resize button. <laughs> oh, just well, for an instant. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's kind of like the same feeling with, um, people that normally wear glasses but wear contacts for that one day yeah and they cost and they're so used to pushing up their glasses that they end up pushing up against nothing on their nose yeah did you ever wear contacts I did back in high school and I and I uh, sometimes wore them a little too long than I should have <laughs> we gotta get you some some new glasses. Yeah. Do you think Mickey swears when Goofy keeps falling over uh, these oversized shoes? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy, do I swear all the time? That's <laughs> <laughs> just good. You do pretty good, Mickey. <laughs> Goofy's always a pain in my butt, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if 
like kids try to resize their text in a physical book. <laughs> uh, Nick says, not losing viewers, just working on getting Perspective Curse finalized for tomorrow. Oh, gotcha. Perspective Curse? Curse. Curse. <laughs> I cannot do Donald Duck. I wish I could, but I yeah. can't. Well, I used to work with uh, Donald Duck's voice, um, at least I think it's still him. Um, there's an animator uh, at Disney named Tony El Salmo, and he was the voice of Donald Duck. He took over. And so he used to, he used to hear him doing Donald Duck all, all the time in the studio. Curious why you choose uh, why you chose to make the kittens dark and belly white instead of opposite. Was it uh, to make the belly look fat and large? Yeah, and I didn't want to use that much ink. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been too much cross hatching. It would have been real kind of. It would have been kind of messy. So I was kind of feeling like I wanted to put them backlit or, or yeah backlit so they're dark in the front. How about a saber tooth on vacation at the La Brea Tar Pits? It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cool idea, actually. In a theater, the audience is in the dark. <laughs> I probably could have gotten away without shading them in at all, but I just want them to read as silhouettes against the elephant. these drawings for Lightbox or will any of be available online? These are all for Lightbox. If we have any left over after Lightbox then I'm going to make them available online and um, and I'll probably do more after Lightbox and do some, you know, we'll, we'll do some sales online. Is there ever any opportunities as an animator to voice a character you're working on or any character in general? Say that again? Is there ever any opportunities as an animator um, to voice a character you're working on or any character in general? Like, are you able to put your own voice into what you're animating? Oh, I mean, not at the studios. I mean, that, that never happened. Well, I shouldn't say it never happened. It, <clears throat> it rarely happened. There were a couple of characters that were voiced by people at the studio. Uh, Stitch was voiced by the director, Chris Sanders. Um, Rhino from American Dog. Uh, Bolt. Or Bolt, I mean, sorry. It used American to be called American Dog. Dog. Um, uh, Rhino was voiced by one of the story guys. I'll go get my ball. So that did happen occasionally, but not, not very often. So just, so just how about a giraffe doing a limbo? That's a pretty cool idea right there. Hello, can you go? I just assumed if there was a uh, small campfire between the elephant and the cubs, it explains the lighting to me. There you go. Put a little core of shadow, a little core shadow there in the on the backs of these little guys. You should have Dustin or Nick write down the ideas since you're running dry on, a, on ideas so you can pull them out in the next couple of days if you're drawing a blank. Oh, I'll be alright. You'll live. <laughs> there we go. There have been scratch uh, voices used instead of finding uh, a character because the fir first voice went over so well, like the caterpillar in Bugs Life. Yeah. 
I'm a cute little butterfly. Yeah, that, that was Joe. <laughs> Joe Ramps. Yeah, poor Joe. And he passed away. He passed away. He uh, died in a car accident a few uh, years ago. He was a brilliant, brilliant, uh, and wonderfully kind man. Joe Ramps. How many of these drawings are you looking uh, to produce before Lightbox Expo? One hundred. One hundred. One hundred drawings. And how many are you at so far? We are at... This is number 20. I've got 80 more to go. And you got three weeks? Yeah. Oh, you're going to make it. At that rate? Yeah. How about a hippo skater? You know what? I love that idea. I think I'm going to steal that. I think I'll take that idea and run with it. I'm going to skate with that. <laughs> what I was thinking of is um, a hippie hippo. <laughs> hippie hippo. Hippie hippo. Hippie hippie hippo. So I'm going to get a few highlights on here. Twitch question. Proko just uploaded a video asking artists, what is the hardest thing about being a pro? What is it for you? Um, I think the hardest thing for me is the social media aspect of it, staying up on it, and uh, the work isn't hard. I mean, it's, it's hard, don't get me wrong, it's hard, but I enjoy it, so, um, and I, the social media part of it, it it's not that I don't like that, because I, I do like interacting with, uh, with people. It's just, uh, you know, it's just not something I was really used to doing. Uh, for the latecomers, uh, another expo question. Are you tabling at CTN or the usual? At CTN? At CTN. Uh, we're not sure yet. I'm definitely going to be speaking at CTN. I think she's asking if you're going to be setting up a booth. Yeah, I know. I don't know yet. We're going to see how this one goes at Lightbox. And then if that goes well, then we'll probably do it at CTN as well. There. Thank you, Tim Hodge, for this cool suggestion. And for those of you that are wondering or don't know, Tim Hodge and I used to work together at Disney. And uh, Tim is an amazing story artist and uh, just artist in general. And, um, and we asked him a while back if he would do a course for us. And he did. And so he's, uh, his course is on how to draw cartoon animals. And uh, it's really great for younger viewers or people that are brand new to drawing. Uh, it's very, very cool. So I would check it out. And it's at our website, creatureartteacher.com. You'd be go. another great person to... Uh have uh, make uh, make a course with who? Jim Jackson. Jim Jackson. We're actually going to get something from Jim Jackson. Are we? Yep. Nice. When the time is right, <laughs> we're going to strike. It's all about waiting for the opportune moment. Tim Hodges wrote, I'll send thee an invoice later today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Timmy. Now, Ron, this picture would have been ironic if, uh, if it had been a gazelle doing the puppets for the Cubs. Yes. 
But I like the uh, I like the elephant idea. Also, uh, a zebra dancing to black or white. Oh, uh, that's funny. If you have the time, that'll be a funny uh, thing to animate. Yeah, I would. It would be, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Is uh, Ronnie Wilford doing another course? Yes, he is. Ronnie Williford is doing another course. He's going to be doing a course on beginning drawing. Slowly getting there, folks. Slowly but surely are we, eh? Yeah, baby! done a draw my life video if not would you consider doing so and uh, draw my life is a video where you basically narrate your life while illustrating it on a blackboard Photoshop canvas etc oh uh, probably not <laughs> that's a lot of work I've led a very full life let's it's say true. that yeah, your your yeah your life can fill an entire novel, actually a whole series of novels. <laughs> it hasn't been boring, that's for sure. I think you can make one one novel alone based off of your time being trapped out in the out at sea for three days. Okay. Yeah. Give him a little shiny belly. A little, make it shiny. Alright, I think of course on cartoon backgrounds would be great. Yeah, I agree. That's something we're considering. Actually, an idea that I was having, um, uh, because browsing through, um, Facebook saw that uh, post of like the 150 images of the different compositions that were used. Man, for wasn't that cool? That was really cool. And I really think that would be... I was thinking the same thing. That would be a great course. That would be a really good course. I thought the same thing when I saw that. Yeah. Like how how to um, compose your, your shots. Yeah, I'll see a lot of those we just naturally, instinctively do. Yeah. And we don't realize it. But it's like you can, but then certain people can see the exactly what kind of composition they're looking for. Yeah. And yet sometimes we're just like, oh, that's a cool composition. <laughs> Twitch question. When you were learning, what was your approach to doing master's studies? How did you think when doing them? Loving your anatomy course, by the way. Very intuitive. Um, I studied, I copied a lot of artists to understand what it was that they did. Um, that really helped a lot. Um, and I, you know, for me, the biggest thing is uh, just drawing, getting your getting your pencil on the paper or paintbrush on the on the canvas or whatever it might be. The only way you learn it truly with art, the way you get better at it is by doing it. And so, you know, I've improved over the years simply by by doing it so here I'm giving our little cubs a little rim light just to get them to stand out a little bit
what you're doing there, Dustin. I was just sharing a link of that 150 uh, composition. Oh yeah, man, that was awesome. So there is our last drawing. Right there. There. That was a fun one. Thanks oh. for the uh, for the suggestion, Tim Hodge. Tim. Tim. Tim Hodge. Tim Hodge. Do you think tracing is a good way to learn? I've been advised by a well-established artist. I think it is sometimes. I think it sometimes is. Is um, that it? And also, is that a white pen? That is a white pen. It is a white jelly roll. Right here. White jelly roll. Right there. Jelly roll. So there it is, folks. There's our last drawing. Here's the other one we did earlier. So we had a lot of drawing in today. Uh, how long have we been on? Uh, it's 3.12, so roughly 2 hours 15. Two hours okay, 15 gotcha. Minutes. There you go. So these are the drawings. So if this is just a straight up, you know, just an angry impala. That's it. <laughs> then we got a uh, elephant fishing. Elephant doing a puppet show. I think is a brilliant idea Tim Hodge and once again these are all this is what we got so far so there's our there's our elephant actually it'd be really funny is that you said that one animal particular is Impala my desk a little bit. you said one animal particular is that angry Impala yeah I think it'd be interesting to do another Impala but standing on top of like a rusted up Impala oh like <laughs> the Impala car there you go <laughs> So let's let's see what we've got so far. Though, so these are our first twenty. These are going to be available at the Lightbox Expo. So there's this one, and there will be uh, one hundred dollars a piece. And there's a whole bunch of them here. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Some of them are a bit more realistic, like this one. There we go. Lots and lots and lots of them so far. Well, 20. Oh, here comes the rain. Is it raining? Yeah. Oh, man. A creature, forest creature, our little cub. Oh, running elephant. Run away! <laughs> Two buddies singing. They need some pints in their hands. Yeah. <laughs> There's a singing tiger, by the way. Yeah. Up on that top. <laughs> What's that one? It's just a dancing <laughs> one. <laughs> Cape Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what kind of bu bu Cape Buffalo. Cape Buffalo? Cape, yeah. Cape? Yeah. You should have had a cape, man. I know. I, <laughs> duh. <laughs> duh. That's, that's, yep. Yeah, I got to do it. <laughs> Termin Tiger. This is one of my favorite ones here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like this one. I had fun doing that one. Nice frozen. <laughs> so many people love that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy. So Light we're getting we're getting a good collection. This is uh, four days worth of work. So so far so good. So far. So, so good. anyway, uh, just wanted to say thanks you guys for joining us. And um, once again, remember um, September twenty eighth. Um, our first master class online live online is going to be happening it's going to be on character design it's going to be a six hour class it's going to be starting at 11 a.m. eastern time my time uh, and hopefully you folks can join me if you want more information and you want to get tickets go to creatureartteacher.com slash live right is, is that it I, I, I think that I think that's what it is um, and, uh, oh, I got a YouTube question real quick. 
During your Disney days, when a production hits a snag or when the overall morale is low, what did you guys do to boost each other's spirit? We drank. <laughs> we would we we'd actually play a lot of games too. We 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 play a lot of football, basketball, uh, darts. Um, we uh, just made up games. Um, but as a director, we actually had a uh, a certain amount of beer that we were allowed and that they would give us in our refrigerator. So on Fridays, uh, we'd hit our deadlines and we would all crack a couple beers and and kick back and relax. So it was very cool. Um, uh, but anyway, back to uh, back to the class. So it's going to be a character design course, six hour six hour live class, and uh, the the spacing is limited. So if you're interested, uh, get over to creatureartteacher.com slash live, and uh, there'll be more information there. Um, and then also, uh, you know, our our Patreon page. Um, we would love for you to come over and. Hop uh, and, and, and support us on Patreon. Uh, there's some great rewards for some of the levels there. Um, you get other, everything from a dollar a month. You get a you get imagery um, uh, that you can download for five bucks. You're gonna get uh, and remember, we're I'm uploading f uh, f images every week, so um, you're gonna get full Photoshop files that show all the layers for the $5 level and at the $10 level you're going to be doing exclusive uh, live streams with just our Patreon members and uh, and like I said the first one that we have coming up our Patreon uh, number of Patreon supporters is low enough right now that I think we might be able to do some portfolio reviews which is something I'd like to do so uh, so check that out go, go over to patreon.com uh, slash Aaron Blaze Art uh, that's where you can find all that stuff, and then. Um, but the biggest thing is that 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 uh, online course. I want you to go check that out. And remember, today is the last day that you can get our perspective course for the forty uh, percent off. Uh, and the back to school sale. Oh my gosh, we got so many things going on. Back to school sale is happening right now, and um, you can get twenty five percent off everything on the site. And if you're a teacher or a student, you can get up to fifty percent off. Of streaming and uh, uh, memberships so there you got it there's everything I hope you guys had a good time with the drawing today I really enjoy it we're gonna be doing this for the next couple of weeks until I can get a hundred drawings done so far we've got 20 got a little pile right here so um, uh, until then I'm gonna be back again on Tuesday uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend um, go and do some drawing pull pull out your uh, your pads, your drawing pads, and pull some pens out and do some traditional work for a change. Get away from the computer screen for a little bit and uh, do something that you can hold in your hand and, uh, and erase and have some fun with. It's always good to go back and forth between the traditional and the digital. So go out and put some beauty back into the world because that's what we're supposed to do as artists. And, uh, and it just feels good, you know, when you're good to somebody and you can make somebody's life brighter. Feels so, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Be the force of good please. And um, uh, put your shopping cart away. Something as simple as putting your shopping cart away. Uh, so those poor kids <laughs> that are bagging groceries at minimum wage don't have to go out and gather them up. So uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, and I will talk to you on Tuesday. Dustin? Awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Glad you guys enjoyed this stream. Hope you guys enjoyed future streams as well. See you guys next week on Tuesday. And until next time, Cowboy Bebop. See you guys.